literally sticking to my hands. We just made. And it bounces like a freaking ball. <laughs> okay? This is the rice that I was about to make fried rice to feed to my kids. The health experts and the dietitian have warned consuming this fake grains laced with a poisonous raisin can, could even cause death. Take the substitute crab meat that's used in most restaurants. It's basically mechanically separated fish parts that are then mushed into a paste, cooked in a rope form, and then painted with red dye that is made from coal, coal the rock. Would you eat meat or seafood created in a lab? Some Bay Area startups are racing now to fill your plates. We wanted to know, does it really taste like the real thing? Substitute calamari being served in restaurants. Looks, feels, tastes just like calamari. What is this miracle food? It's hog anus, you guys. It's hog anus. And they don't even have to tell you that it's hog anus. You might have been eating hog anus for years now. Major suppliers have been caught using a special product known as meat glue to stick together scraps of meat to sell as prime cuts. But while this product has been banned overseas, there's no law prohibiting its use here. Iberia jasmine rice, it's sold at uh, most Caribbean outlets. The grains are not cooking, the grains are hard, extremely hard. It balls up very easily and it's sticking. A news article claims that 300,000 pounds of red meat was imported in the United States for the purpose of the Super Bowl. This is a pretty standard practice in the food industry, you know, especially here in America. More and more, the things that we eat aren't what we think they are, or even food at all, or even food at all. <laughs> Oh, I'm so hungry. Please feed me some food. I haven't eaten in hours. Hey, don't worry. We could feed you with some yummy treats using this Play-Doh Mega Fun Factory. Oh, thank you so much. I can't wait to eat. At the Folsom Street Foundry south of Market, they were packed in like sardines. But many came for the shrimp. It actually tasted good. It's actually quite delicious. I thought that the shrimp was fantastic. The event, Indie Bio Demo Day. This powder is transglutanamase enzyme, otherwise known as meat glue. The primary ingredient comes from the blood plasma of pigs and cattle, specifically the coagulant which causes blood to clot. If this ain't plastic, I don't know what the hell is. <laughs> this thing is bouncing like a freaking ball. Oh my goodness. Look, it's, it bounces. We, it bounces. <laughs> It's where biotech startups strut their stuff in front of hipsters, investors, and journalists. In this year's batch, two new food companies with a radical idea, to grow meat and seafood in a lab. In Europe, there's an international olive council that makes sure olive oil is produced up to standards. And if it isn't, makers can be fined and their olive oil can be taken off the shelves. But here in the U.S., olive oil sometimes isn't even olive oil. It can be... I live in Orlando, Florida. The rice will not freaking cook. We can go outside and play freaking catch with the damn rice. Food and Drug Administration, y'all gotta do better. She this said, where you buy it? Bullshit. This is what I bought from, from Sam's. This supposed to be chicken breast. No wonder it was on sale. I ain't never seen chicken breast that look like this. This is fucked up. We're talking about meat that's real meat that's grown from meat cells, whether they're from pigs, cows, or chickens. No more feedlots, no more animal slaughter, no more overfishing, no more fish farms. The amount of bacteria 
on a steak that has been put together with meat glue is hundreds of times higher. This is classic shit that the Food and Drug Administration is allowing to end up on the shelves of our supermarkets. So we're literally paying to freaking kill ourselves. This is bullshit. Y'all got to do better. Take a picture. I don't know. Shit. You tell me. Look. I look like chicken. Come on. Come on. Look at that. It's what they sold me. I look like chicken. Animal free, vegan, kosher, gluten free, but shrimp that looks, tastes, and feels just like shrimp. Dominique Barnes is the CEO of New Wave Foods. Her team analyzed shrimp on a molecular level. Our butcher couldn't tell even when it was raw. It's even harder in the restaurant with just some of the biggest users of glued meat. And chances are, unless you're a vegetarian, you're eating it on a regular basis. Y'all got to do a freaking better job at what you're approving to end up on the shelves. And, and I'm, I'm paying my hard earned dollars for this shit. This is bullshit. Okay? I didn't steal it. I didn't get it off the welfare line. I bought it. Chicken also now being artificially inseminated. When you do artificial insemination, I would guarantee you a 95% fertility in all eggs. Using only certain plants and algae. Well, here we have a sample of our shrimp. The team engineered a new plant-based shrimp. Barnes says it's just as nutritious, but far more sustainable than wild shrimp, the number one consumed seafood in the U.S. With current labeling laws, neither butchers nor your local eatery have to tell you you're eating chicken glued together with cow's blood or beef held together by pig. It's the same reason they can take low-grade meat and pump it with water. It's plastic. It is freaking plastic. Rice don't do that. Okay? Rice doesn't... Rice is not supposed to do that. This is bullshit. I'm just about to go start eating the freaking grass that's outside my backyard and call it because this ain't right. They said it was fresh. It ain't chicken. This is what I'm saying. You know that Chinese and everything. You don't know Rasta. I'm telling everybody. These people are wicked. Cardiologist Dr. Uma Valetti is CEO of the company. He explained how his team takes a small sample of cells from a cow, a pig, or a chicken, adds nutrients, and then cultivates the cells into meat, like this meatball. Like this, so old, a meat grater said it was only good for pet meats. You've got yellow fat color, really dark meat color. It's definitely off a really old type of animal. <laughs> They're not selling chicken. They sell you food they don't eat. How do you accept that? They're wicked. <laughs>